In this video, I'd like to go through an example of how to calculate the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of a two by two matrix. So, and we'll also provide a physical interpretation for the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of this particular matrix. So the idea is for you to imagine that the XY plane is covered by an elastic membrane, which can be deformed and a given deformation is encoded in the matrix A, given over here, such that a point x, y is transformed into a point x prime, y prime. We can describe this process by our usual matrix equation where we have our deformation matrix A, multiplying all of the points in the x, y plane and transforming them into new points x prime and x Y and Y prime. All right, so to find the eigenvalues, we need to solve the following equation. So the determinant of our matrix A minus the unknown eigenvalues lambda uh, multiplied by the identity matrix, the determinant of this matrix has to equal to zero. So this means so the determinant of A minus lambda I is given by this and we can calculate the determinant of this two by two matrix, which gives you following result. And this has to equal to zero. And we can simplify this expression to give you this equation. And this again has to equal to zero. So the values of lambda that satisfy this equation This equation is satisfied for lambda is equal to four because then that will make this factor equal to zero. And we'll call this our first eigenvalue, lambda one. And it's also satisfied by when lambda is equal to minus one. And we'll call this our second eigenvalue, lambda two. Right, so these are the eigenvalues of our matrix A. To find the corresponding eigenvectors, so the corresponding eigenvector to the first eigenvalue is found by Uh, there this should be i is equal to zero. So we need to solve this system of equations. So this is given by one minus our first eigenvalue. The off diagonal elements remain the same. And then two minus our eigenvalue. And we'll just denote the elements of our eigenvector in general as X and Y. And this has to equal to the zero vector. All right, so simplifying this, we get the following matrix. So you need to find the values of X and Y for which this system of equations is satisfied. And because this is a zero vector, you can't invert it like we did in a previous example, but you can carry out the matrix multiplication. So what you're left with is 
minus 3x plus 3y has to be equal to 0. And 2x minus 2y has to equal to 0. And in this case, you can solve it almost by inspection. You can see that if x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 1, you get minus 3 plus 3, which is equal to 0. So it satisfies this equation, and it also satisfies this equation. You can, of course, always take uh, x and y having any other value as long as they're equal. So to show this explicitly, we have moving the 3x to the other side has to equal to 3y, the 3 simplify, and you're left with x is equal to 1. So for any value of x and y for which they're equal, this equation is satisfied. So this system of equations has infinitely many solutions. However, we uh, are only interested in one, so we're going to pick the simplest case and say that our first eigenvector is equal to x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 1. Okay, so this should tell you that there are infinitely many solutions and you just pick one, usually the simplest one. All right. So to find the corresponding eigenvector to our second eigenvalue, we again solve the system of equations, which leaves us with 2, 2, 3, and 3. Once again, we'll denote the elements of our eigenvector in general by x and y, and this has to equal to zero, zero. So uh, these two equations give you the same information, specifically that 2x plus 3y has to equal to zero. So this means that any values of x and y for which two times x is equal to minus three y would satisfy this equation. And again, there are infinitely many solutions, but you pick what you consider to be the simplest one. So we can say that the corresponding eigenvector could be when x is equal to minus three and y is equal to two. As these values would satisfy this condition. All right, so we found the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of our matrix A. The interpretation, the physical interpretation of this result is if we reorient our coordinate system, along the direction of the eigenvectors that we found. Then the deformation of our membrane that was encoded in A, in the matrix A, will only result in stretching the membrane. Instead of, so stretching it is you just go like that. In our old coordinate system, it would have been a stretch and a shear. So 
what we've essentially done is taken our original coordinate system for which if we represent our membrane by little squares and apply A to it, this would have uh, deformed each one of these squares into uh, be something like this. So our squares would have been stretched and sheared. But uh, so what we can do instead is pick a new coordinate system in the direction of our eigenvectors for which applying A, sorry, this should be like this, only results in stretching our square. So this, this square became elongated in this way. This square became elongated in this way. So we've essentially changed our coordinate system to simplify our problem. So in other words, since A times your first eigenvector is equal to that same eigenvector scaled by lambda one. It says any points along this eigenvector will be stretched by a factor of lambda one. And our second equation tells us that any points along the second eigenvector will be stretched by a factor of lambda two. All right, so this completes our first example. And the next video will uh, introduce the idea of diagonalizing a matrix using the eigenvalues and eigenvectors.